I remember the, the day the doctor pulled me in and said, yeah, you won't, you won't be playing footy this year. And then he goes, we'll see about the years after that. out of school into a full-time system at Parramatta. I think I was 17, 18 um, and halfway through that year got told that I wasn't going to be required at the club anymore so it, it was a hard thing to take you know but I was just a young naive sort of kid like thought thought it'd be easy just you know to transition to another club and then just get going again but um, you know my journey wasn't like that. 2014 yeah, it was just a roller coaster of a year, really. Um, as I came back from having um, bilateral shoulder surgery, so I had surgery on both, um, one after the other. Um, just went through my normal rehab to get back to playing footy, and then, you know, throughout the process, just sort of had a pain in my knee. Um, it would be there some days, some days it wouldn't. And it wasn't until yeah, I played a first trial match, and I just tried to play, and I just I knew I couldn't, I couldn't run, and I, I think I went out and played and just had a shocker. I remember coming off, and Dad was there watching me and just said, is everything all right? And I was just like, no, nah, there's something going on with my leg. Messages of physio, they sent me for scans probably straight away. Halfway through the scan, the lady sort of stopped and I, I knew from that moment that something was probably wrong because they don't come in and just stop an x-ray for no reason sort of thing. And I had to wait um, two, oh, I think one or two days before I went and met the doctor. And then, yeah, he gave me the news that he yeah, had a bone tumour, which was, yeah, as a 21-year-old, 20, 21-year-old, it was pretty, yeah, horrifying to hear. And I was sitting there by myself, um, and I'm pretty sure I just broke down in tears. Like, just I was, I was rattled by it all. The journey was long, and it, it was different. No one in rugby league sort of had, or physios had, sort of dealt with that. I think it was a one in a millions type of tumor that I had. The surgeon was sort of saying, "Look, I'll, I'll get your leg back to as strong as it can be." Day to day life for, for regular people is easy. He goes, "You're trying to." played at an elite level of sport way more than what the normal person uses it. So at the time, I didn't really care if I, I came back to play at an elite level. I sort of just, I loved rugby league that much and loved footy that much that I, just was, I would have been happy to go back and just play A-grade footy with my brothers so I can get the chance to do that. Look at this. Eisenhuth has just strode through. Not bad for a bloke who was told he couldn't play rugby league again. He's taken on all challenges. He's having an outstanding season. Footy in the NRL is a roller coaster. You know, you got so many highs, you got so many lows. If I could tell my younger self something, it would just be to embrace, you know, every sort of step of the way. Stick solid, stick true to what you what you know. You know, if you believe in yourself, put your head down and work hard for it, then, you know, you'll see good results and and good things will come to you.